sitting in the dark? I'm not. Your arm's still bothering you? Not so much. How did you hurt yourself again? It was stupid. I just slipped in gym. Well, do we think it's something a doctor should take a look at? Mom, seriously, I'm fine. I can type with one hand. Well, clearly you need two to wash a pot. Typing is not scraping. How's school going? Is it still difficult to see Mona every day? We only have two classes together. Two's a lot. If it's distracting, I can talk to Mr. Tamborelli and help you transfer Mom, him. she'd still be there. I'm not going to avoid going down every hallway. I understand. I am just trying to protect. Why do you think I need protection? I meant to protect your education. Is there something else I need to know about? Is it happening again? Hannah? No, there's nothing. I just don't need anyone else protecting me, okay? One cape crusader is enough. Who's wearing the cape? Caleb? <sighs> I have to take a shower. Has Caleb been tangling with Mona? Tangling? I don't even know what that means. Has Mona said anything to you recently or done something? No. I... He just doesn't trust her. He thinks she should be watched. You know, I, I think I am going to call Mr. Tamborelli. Don't. I can deal with Mona and Caleb. Just leave it alone. I'm glad to hear that you're getting her help. Like I said, I just hope that she makes a full recovery. And I know that my daughter feels the same way. Thank you. And you too, Mr. Sorensen. Well, I just got off the phone with Meredith's father. Wow, that must have been weird. Well, it turns out Meredith has a long history of issues. He thinks that she stopped taking her meds. And I told him that we didn't want to see her punished. We wanted to see her treated. That is still what you want, right? Yeah, but can she be treated in another state, like Alaska? I won't let her anywhere near my family. She never should have been in the first place. You know, when we first moved into this house, we didn't have money for a furnace. It was winter, so we bundled you up in sweaters. <laughs> you look like this big ball of yarn rolling from room to room. And we never used a fireplace. I was scared that we'd turn our backs and you would get burned. I knew that my one job on this earth was to make sure that you didn't get hurt. I haven't done a very good job, have I? 